I had a shower thought the other day. I was wondering, hmm, you know, ChatGPT is pretty smart, but is it install Arch Linux smart? And so I just wanted to find out. So I gave ChatGPT a, a pretty simple prompt. I just said, you know, give me detailed instructions on, on how to do Arch Linux. I'm going to type and just do whatever it says. And that's, that's pretty much it. So uh, here's where we're at. We got the instructions on the left side, and then I've used Linux KVM, and I just booted up the Arch Linux uh, image, and kind of here we are. I probably should have told it that I was at the actual start screen, but I didn't. Uh, but anyway, it said from the boot menu, select Arch Linux, press enter to load the live environment, and so there we go. Step two it wants me to do is verify the internet connection. So I'll do that. So it's pinging, so that part's all good. Uh, it says Wi-Fi on laptop, don't have Wi-Fi, so I can skip all that, I think. Good. All right. Update system clock. Time. Time date CTL. Uh, set NTP. True. Time date. CTL status. So I guess we're on UTC time. I, I'm in central. I don't know how to actually change that. Maybe that'll come later. Okay, partition disk says ls block, so that should show us the stuff here. And cf disk. Oh, okay, so I didn't tell it. It looks like I got VDA. It's saying SDA. That's okay. I'm gonna let that one slide. It if if I was doing this on a real computer, it would be SDA. I think because I'm using KVM, it's uh, it's VDA. So I'll just pretend like anywhere it says SDA, I will write VDA. VDA, great. Choose. GPT. Okay. Create partitions. EFI partition. Uh, so it's not telling me to hit new. I, I guess I'll let that slide. So new. Partition size 20G. So I gotta set that to 512M. Go to type. It's like EFI system up here. All right, and then root partition remaining space Linux file system. So I guess I go to free space, new, press the space. Uh, looks like it's already Linux file system, so that's good. And then write and exit. Okay, write, yes. Exit, exit, quit, close enough, and quit. Now it says verify the partitions, else block. Looks like I got VDA1, VDA2. Perfect. Next step, format the partitions. Dev SDA1, EFI partition, dev SDA2, repartition. So, okay, uh, make file system.fat. So this will set fat32 file system for VDA1. That's our EFI partition. And then make file system ext4 for our main partition. Good to go. Next is mount the file system. All right, so I will mount dev VDA2 to mount, make their dash P. P means make the entire uh, directory structure, even if it doesn't exist. And then mount VDA1 to mount boot. Great. Next is install base system. So pack strap, I think that's Arch Linux's package manager, slash mount base Linux. Linux firmware. Let's make sure there's anything else here. Oh, and nano. All right, so it's installing a bunch of stuff. And it looks like the base system install completed successfully. Next step is to generate the fstab file or fstab file. So gen fstab u slash mount append to etsy fstab. And then it wants us to just check what's in it. This is the definition for mounting all the drives when they come up. So looks like it's got our slash boot and our slash. Next is step nine is to enter truth. So what this, or change root. So we'll do arch truth slash mount. What this does is it, it takes whatever's on slash mount and makes it slash. So it's, it's sort of like taking the file system at slash mount and pretending like you just booted into that file system. Okay, so now it's going to set the time zone. So ln-sf, I think that's a force symlink. So share zone info, America, Chicago, and then link that to 
Etsy local time. Then it says run hw clock dash dash sys to hc. I have absolutely no clue what that does. Next it says to configure locale. So Etsy locale.gen. Uh, uncomment en dash, okay. So I'll search for en underscore us. There it is. Uncomment that and save. And then it says run locale gen. So let that do its thing. All right, so that's done. Last is to uh, set the locale. So echo lang equals en underscore us dot utf dash eight into etsy locale.conf. Also, if you're wondering why I don't just copy and paste this stuff, it's because I'm in KVM and paste for whatever reason doesn't work. So now I'll export that variable to my current environment. Next step, set the host name. So we'll just keep it as it is. Arch Linux into host name. I'll modify our host file. So this thing wants 127.0.0.1, which is loopback address for localhost. Colon colon one, which is the IPv6 loopback for localhost. Then the loopback again for Arch Linux dot local domain. And I think that says Arch Linux probably. Yeah, it does. Cool. So we'll save that. Last set root password. Pass WD. Close your eyes. Don't look. All right, we're good. Next is install bootloader grub. So there's two options here. One is for BIOS systems. One is for UEIF systems. I'm assuming I do the UEIF because that's what that's what KVM is. So I'll do pacman dash s. I think dash s is install grub efi boot mgr. I'll install that. Great. Grub install dash dash target equals x86 underscore 64 dash EFI. I got to move it over a little bit. Can't see. Dash dash EFI directory equals slash boot dash dash bootloader dash ID equals grub. Okay. No error reported. All good. Now it says grub make config dash O slash boot slash grub slash grub dot CFG. Wait, grub.cfg. Looks like it worked. Awesome. Next is enable network services. So we'll do system CTL enable DHCPCD. Fail to enable unit. Unit DHCPCD service does not exist. So I think we just found our first chat GPT issue. I, I double check my spelling. I, I always thought it was DHCPD. So I just want to try that. That didn't work either. So I, yeah, I think we found our first issue. What I think I'll probably try now is maybe pacman dash s dhcp cd, maybe. Oh, it did work. Okay. Oh, that worked. Okay. So from what I can tell, nowhere in here did it ever tell me to install dhcp cd. So I think that is a negative one for ChatGPT, but we'll we'll continue anyway. All right, so it wants to exit the true environment. So exit unmount slash mount, and then reboot the machine. Okay, so we're back up here. Arch Linux loading up. Arch Linux login. Cool. Root. Okay, so we're written. So there's a couple next steps after booting. Uh, login as root, create new user. Okay, so it wants me to create the uh, the, the non-root user. So user add dash m dash capital G wheel dash s bin bash and then the username. So we'll just do em. Set the password for em. All right. Pacman. Install sudo. That's funny. I didn't realize you had to install sudo with Arch Linux. I guess they just give you the bare minimum. You just have to kind of build what you want from scratch. So it wants to do ed or nano for VA sudo. Uncomment percent wheel 
Uh, is it that one? I don't see one that's exactly as it says there. I I think all colon all. I, I think this is the same one. I think all colon all is the same. It's just all. So slight difference here, but I think this is really what it means. So I'll uncomment that one. So what I failed to do is I, I wanted uh, a desktop environment like XFCE. So I'm going to just ask it for that. I, I meant to ask that initial prompt, but I didn't. So I'm just going to ask it to give me instructions also for XFCE. So here's the instructions for SFCE. It wants me to do pacman-syu to update the system. Looks like it's already updated. So now it wants me to do dash s xfce4 and xfce4 dash goodies. Looks like xfce is all set now. Okay, so step three, install display server. It's, it's actually been fun to do this because you don't really think about ever having to do all this. I just use xubuntu, it just kind of works. So this is all kind of new. All right, install xorg server, xorg x init. Okay, lovely. Install a display manager. Pacman dash s light dm, light dm dash gtk dash something. Let me look here. Gtk greeter, and then light dm dash gtk dash greeter dash settings. Get all those. System CTL enable light dm. Excellent. Set XFCE to launch at startup. That sounds great. Exec start XFCE or into dot X init RC. It says to run it manually, I could do start X, reboot, and enjoy. So I will, I will reboot, and hopefully I come back in to XFCE. And it looks like I did. Cool. EM, put my password in. EM. And here we are. So the answer to the question, can ChatGPT install Arch Linux? I, I, I think that's a definite yes. I, I give ChatGPT an A plus on this task. It, it really didn't make any errors per se. The only thing it did is it just forgot to have me install one thing, but it didn't, it didn't give me the wrong thing to do. And I, I think that's, that's worse than just omitting, you know, something that I had to do. The real question though is, what should I use this Arch Linux install for? And I think the answer is close it down and then delete it because I don't use Arch, by the way. And that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe in a future video, I'll try out some other ones. Maybe I'll try out Llama or Grok or DeepSeek or Claude or something like that. Let's see which one is the king of the Arch install. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great night or day and take care.